Behind me is the wall that separates Israel from Palestine, but the water that they share doesn't recognize the barriers that we build. Here in southern Israel, at the Arava Institute for Environmental Studies, Israeli, Palestinian, Jordanian, and international students all get the chance to live and study together, using the environment to build relationships across the lines of conflict. So what brought all of you here to Arava? To be honest, what really brought me here at the beginning was me and the other. It's it's complicated situation. I have this belonging to what's happening in this area because originally I'm Palestinian. So I still feel connected to what's happening in this region and with the conflict. And when I came here it was shocking transformation point of my life. I can't I can't even imagine if I didn't come here what my perspective will be. The people are living with me Israelis, we have also Palestinians, Jordanians and we all share the same things like I put the conflict aside, it's like there's nothing conflict, we are all humans, it's not, it's not, there's, on the other side, it's not the enemy anymore. And how did you guys feel when you came here and, and you were able to meet Palestinians and Jordanians and find that you had so much in common, how did it change your perspective of what's happening here in the region? It's what I'm looking for, and it's part of creating a future. As soon as I heard about it, I understood it's an amazing place, and my parents live in the Golan Heights here in Israel. Yeah, it's the environment. It doesn't matter what nationality you're from. It's the same language, it's nature. It was a good thing, because here you can express yourself and you can make the people around you feel with you. you feel your suffers and you feel your pains. So that was a good experience for me. I'm from Nablus, Palestine. My family all from that village. My father born there and my mother too born there. Uh, some of the people think that it is bad, it's not good to deal with Israeli people. We have a conflict and we have a war we have uh, uh, in this region. But actually, uh, even if they think that I'm doing what I believe in and what I feel it is good for me. What I find truly inspirational is that in this land of walls and guns, the study of water and the environment reveals a shared humanity that is being translated into life-changing friendships between people from all sides of the conflict. No matter what happens around, we know and we believe in one fact that we have to save the environment for a future generation. The water situation in Jordan is really complicated because we live in a, in a country that we don't have any water resources. And I always remember, even in my house, my mom do the good, like the washing, the cleaning, only one day a week and it's like we take showers as minimum as we can so it's hard to live with but it's good because we know what we have and we have to deal with that. Water it is maybe a reason for the unity or may, maybe a reason for conflict. I think uh, here it is a good, a good chance for us as a Palestinian and Israeli people and Jordanian also. We are here in the same place talking about the same scarcity, which is water, water resources in the future. Well, there's a message that you'll see on, on, uh, on our shirts uh, that says nature knows no boundaries, nature knows no borders. And here we have uh, Israelis and Palestinians, and there's no signed, declared peace between Israel and Palestine. And, so want there to be, but this is this is a seed, you know, it's happening here. Spending time with the students, I am moved by their desire to see beyond conflict and the power of nature and water to grant a safe place for relationships and understanding to grow. It's the work is not here. The work is when you go back home. Can you resist the flow of like hatred and conflict that's all over the region? Can you maintain your principles of what you believe here? This is a question that everybody has to ask himself after he leaves this place. And maybe this is a bridge that we can bring between us. If we can discuss water issues, if we can discuss environmental issues, this can take us beyond, okay, if we achieve that, then it will open the channels between us. 
How about you, Gabriel? How do you see the environment as a way to bring people together, to start building bridges that can lead to cooperation and, and diplomacy and eventually maybe even peace? You know, first we should make the, uh, the connection of water for everybody, food for everybody, and, and realize that it's, it's all one system. The Earth is just one system, no matter where we draw the fence lines, then we can understand that we're all one. We came to the Middle East to understand how a thirst for water could bring people together in spite of ancient rivalries. And the people we met in Jordan, Israel and Palestine all recognize that water knows no borders and that our common future depends on this precious resource.